And as the threats continue to gather against Israel and the United States, we are bringing you an exclusive on the ground briefing this week from top officials of the Israel Defense Forces. It's the kind of cutting edge information you will not see anywhere else. So let's turn it over right now to Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Conricus, international spokesman of the Israel Defense Forces. Thank you, Eric. I'm uh, Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Conricus. I'm the IDF's international media spokesperson. I'm thrilled to be doing this with you, Eric. When you think of it, the IDF is a small military, it's mighty, but it's small, which has to deal with military threats ranging from stones to weapons of mass destruction and everything in between. That calls for a large military, best equipped and with the best people. And uh, what we'll be able to show you today is an exclusive inside look at the people who lead these efforts. They'll tell you what we're dealing with and how we're dealing with the military threats. And I think that they'll also have a few important things to say about the strength of the bond between us and the United States of America. So without further ado, let's start with our northern border where there's a brigade commanded by an IDF colonel that defends Israeli civilians against the threats posed by the Iranian-backed proxy Hezbollah in Lebanon. Colonel Roy, it doesn't look as if you're broadcasting from your office. Where exactly are you? I'm standing here and talking to you from a tunnel that had been dug for almost 14 years to attack uh, Israel. Nasrallah in 2013 had a big and uh, very uh, important speak from his point of view. He declared in that speak that he's going to conquer the Galil. This is part of his plan, a small part, a uh, part that we discovered, a uh, part that we worked on it. We caught them, the Hezbollah, with excuse me, their pants down. The long of the tunnel is 1.2 kilometers. 14 years, we're talking about a dip of 18 meters. It's like a building with 20 floors that goes down. You can see the floors over here. Everything is authentic. We haven't touched anything. And uh, I think that a photo uh, and a picture says a lot of words. Thank you, Colonel Roy. It is amazing to see one of those six Hezbollah cross-border attack tunnels that you and your men exposed and destroyed, making sure that Israeli civilians are safer. Now, we all know that this amazing military achievement probably wouldn't have happened had it not been for the joint Israeli-American technology that allows us to see and locate tunnels exactly where they are. By the way, we are the only two militaries in the world who possess this specific battle-proven technology. Now, let's go big, let's go strategic, and let's hear from the commanding general responsible for planning and executing many of Israeli activities that you in the audience probably have heard about only in the media, and a general who deals with the biggest and most serious strategic threats that the State of Israel faces. Major General Tal Kalman, how are you, sir? The main issue that is uh, concerning us, although we're dealing with this nowadays, is the Iranian issue. Uh, Iran is daily uh, making many efforts to build a proxy uh, military capabilities and try to bring them as close as she can to Israel's borders, uh, trying to br build uh, ballistic capabilities, long-range ballistic capabilities that threat Israel, but they don't only threat Israel, they threat other countries and maybe even Western countries. Uh, and obviously uh, striving towards a uh, nuclear weapon. Uh, our strategy is, together with the United States, first of all, maximum pressure campaign on all domains against this uh, regime, uh, trying to change its behavior, and at the same time uh, building our capabilities uh, against uh, these proxies uh, the past few years we've uh, developed a method of what we call uh, the campaign between wars, meaning that we are not waiting in Israel's borders, letting these proxies build their capabilities and going out to war. 
whenever it happens, but actively, almost daily, acting against these capabilities being built and doing this under the threshold of war. Uh, and actually, we've had very high success uh, with this uh, campaign between wars the past few years. And Iran is far, very far from its capabilities. Uh, n doesn't have the amount of ammunition she planned, the amount of personnel and capabilities in the proxies around us. Um, but uh, we understand that this is a long, long uh, fight that we still need to fight, and we're dealing with it daily. The main proxy which is challenging us uh, the past few years is Hezbollah. Uh, Hezbollah has uh, thousands of rockets aimed at Israel, and the past few years has been building uh, what we call PGMs, which is precise guided missiles. Uh, these missiles threat Israel because Israel is a small country, has a few strategic targets, um, and this is a threat that we are not prepared to live with. And we are, our strategy against this is obviously, first of all, maximum pressure campaign against Hezbollah and a, a financial pressure on the Lebanese government, which is, is responsible for Hezbollah acting in its territory, and other military methods uh, that I can't talk about all of them, but what I want to say is that Israel will not let Hezbollah build massive uh, amounts of PGMs uh, on their ground. Thank you, Major General Kelman, head of the IDF Strategic Directorate. Now, we all know that the IDF is known to be and perceived as a very strong military in the Middle East. We also know that the IDF and the US Armed Forces, the different services and branches, we train together, plan together, and we even share intelligence. Let's go to the base commander of the Nevatim Air Force Base down in the extreme south of Israel to see firsthand the commander of that base. Good evening to you, General. Thank you, Jonathan, and good evening to all our friends in Kufai. My name is Omer Tischler. I'm a fighter pilot and the commander of Nevatim Air Force Base, from which we operate, our, we operate our two F-35 squadron here in Israel. I'd like to say a few words about our deep cooperation with the joint American forces. Over the last year, we have a few very important exercises, specifically aerial exercises, with the joint American forces. One of them is the blue flag, it, we had another one, is uh, the Jennifer Cobra, and a third very important exercise was the Enduring Lightning. Those exercises help us better understand the capabilities and the superiority of the F-35. But more than that, we operate here in the Middle East. This is the true operational arena. Working with the American allies here, project power over our enemies. I believe, my opinion is that our enemies don't really understand what we do, they don't see what we do, but they see that we are working together as partners, allies, and that project power, it is part of our national security. The idea is not just an aircraft. The idea helps us better, have better capabilities with regards to national security aspects. As you may know, we already operate with the F-35 in the operational arena. This information is shared with our allies, with one ally, with the American uh, Joint Forces. Sharing that information, those capabilities, the operational, the very operational sensitive information, show how deep is our cooperation and trust that is based on a shared values.